When we first meet Clary in the series, she is living her life. She is a normal art student in Brooklyn, starting, you know, at the Brooklyn Academy of Art. She's ready to take on the world. She is headstrong, she's confident, she knows her stuff, she knows what she wants to do. She has her best friend Simon, who goes to NYU for accounting. She has her mother, who's raised her, who's, you know, given her this strength and inner confidence, and uh, she's ready to take on the world. But within the first 20 minutes of the pilot, her entire world is ripped out from underneath her, and everything comes crashing down, and suddenly she has to find herself rising from the ashes and starting over. We are introduced to Simon as Clary's best friend, her lifelong companion. Um, he's known her, they've been best friends since they were like, I think six years old, she moved in next door. And immediately Simon's smitten. And they've been friends ever since, so we're brought into this world knowing him as her best friend. Okay. The guy she looks to for everything. Um, I, I mean, initially it's, it's kind of, there is this electricity in place, but it's also, um, it's also kind of intrigue. It's it, Clary to, to the Shadow Hunters, for all intents and purposes, is a mundane. She's a human being. So there's no reason why she would be able to see us and interact with us. Why are the demons, you know, why, why, why is she in this world? What's, go what's going on? Why is, why is she a part of this? Because it's our job to keep mundanes out, out of this world. So um, sort of from the off, there, there's definitely attraction, but there's also intrigue um, and curiosity. We love about Isabel and, and and Clary is that it could have easily been you know Mean Girls and it's not like that. Isabel opened the doors to Clary. She plays dress up with Clary. She lends her her clothes, her heels, her makeup. So is um, Clary's like a little Barbie doll to Isabel. So she does whatever she wants with Clary and she supports her. And I think it's very nice to show girls out there that you don't have to be mean with each other. You don't have to be bullies to each other. You can be friends and then you can be supportive. And I think that's very important that women should empower each other. Clary, Clary's an interloper. Yeah. She comes in and she ruins everything. Yeah. I mean, Alec has, has his stuff figured out. He's mm -hmm. got his world figured out, and he, and he likes it that way. Mm -hmm. Because if you add in new uh, factors, it starts to mess with his ability to push things out of his head, push things out mm -hmm. of mind. And Clary is just trouble for Alec yeah. from, from day one. Mm -hmm. and, and he knows it. To, to be able to dig into someone, uh, a character that has so much history, I think, you know, usually you have... I don't know, 20 years of history. This guy has 400 years of history, and, and he's definitely lived uh, uh, more than just a rock star lifestyle. You know, he's lived through a lot and also uh, kind of grew into being from a demon to a uh, human. So, I mean, what other character on television are you able to portray than uh, an awesome character like Magnus Bay? We don't know where he's coming from. Um, you get introduced to him as one thing, uh, then you see him as, as uh, you know, with Clary and, and Jocelyn, and then from there, it kind of goes a different direction, mm -hmm. and, and you're really not you're not sure about him until um, you, you get hints of things, but you're not sure about who he is until a few episodes later. And then you you still may not know because a couple secrets come out as as we go along. 